To the Urban Tea Podcast. I'm your host, Uncle Dub, in the building. Sitting here with my co host, the Miss Beautiful. Rita D. Hey. It's me. Rita D is in the building, man. Thank y'all for watching Urban Tea Podcast, man. I just had a long day. So I'm trying to get my energy up, man. We got a cast of gun. Play. Play in the building, my bad. <laughs> Gotta run that back again. Shout out. out. <laughs> Reset. The, the, the cast of gun players in the building. We got Casey Carson in the building. We got the Miss Ebony with two ends in the building. Ebony with two ends. Ooh, Ebony. That would be genius. Welcome to the Herbal Tea Podcast. I'm your co-host today. I go by Casey Carson. We got the Gunplay cast and crew in the building. I got no, my man, man Casey but, Carson in the building. Hey, bro, want, uh, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. I got bro, Uncle bro. Dub. He's had a long hey, weekend. Bro, 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 bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I apologize, y'all. I had a long day. He's had I a got long weekend. with two ends, man. I had a long weekend. I've been out here giving out bold dick. And I apologize to everybody I've been fucking with. It's my fault. But welcome to the Herbal Tea Podcast. We also have a young lady on the end. I forget her name. She's Leah Envy. Leah Envy. She's an she's a artist and she does hip hop too. So welcome, y'all. Appreciate y'all, man, coming, man. You know what? Let me say something. Yeah. Uncle Dub had a let, lot of he had a lot of herbals this weekend. Yeah. No, a lot let, of tea. Listen, let me say something. Did. Sometimes we go to work. Mm. And when we get there, we got to regroup. We got to get ourselves together. So okay, I'm not cool. going to say my call. My I call was just, I got his back. I got it. You First of all, I'm, I'm, I'm the fuck all right. I don't but even understand what being said, But welcome but to the Urban Tea Podcast. Said, I want to give a shout out to Gemini Season. Gemini Season. We've been partying all Happy weekend, man, the whole birthday. season. Shout out to us, man. And definitely Happy I had birthday. a good time for my birthday. And thank you for Rita D for holding me down last week. I was gone out of town in El Paso, Texas, actually, on the West Coast. So it was definitely live out there and lit. Out your bag. And um, I found the culture out there. Because, you know, a lot of times you go to them places, you can't find a lot of black people. It's a military town, so it was hard to find us. But when I found us, we turned up. So shout out to El Paso, um, Texas. Um, I like the East Coast. You know what I'm saying? It was different my first time just really out there venturing around and um, I had a great time man definitely man but um, last night we turned up too Rita D had some in her house wait a, a minute wait 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 a minute put your business on I do not want to say I had something at my house because that I didn't get invited to <laughs> there <laughs> will be people just, just, just to let you friend. know just as, it was an impromptu it we was. were supposed to go out and I must tell y'all how good God is real quick nah, because nah, he is now so we're bringing the Lord in good this. no because he is so good because we was just supposed to pre-bash at my house we were supposed to just get together go to a general place people to hop in the car with each other because downtown yeah. was off the hook. Off the hook. Shout For out to Detroit. For some reason, every time we got ready to pick a spot or go somewhere, somebody else would come and we just couldn't go. Yeah, so with true. that being said, I'm going to say it was God. Yeah, so no, I did not have a shindig at my house. It, was, it, it wasn't planned. <laughs> Wait, so I wasn't invited to the, to the original party. Uh-oh. Then I didn't get invited to the impromptu party. Uh-oh. It was not an well, original party. Well, you was there spirit, my baby. You was no, there I wasn't. Spirit. No, 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 no. <laughs> you got energy. So, so, okay. how was y'all, so how was y'all weekend? What did y'all get into, man? We start with you, Queen. What did I do this weekend? Oh, mm-hmm. well, I did have a show. I, you know, I be doing the herbals too, so sometimes I forget. But however, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> shout out to you. I, I don't do the herbals, <laughs> but y'all the whole vibe with them. Yeah, definitely. Where I've been right I'm now. Um, but I had a show um, over this weekend for Auntie's house. It was a dope experience. You know, I okay. got on stage, did my thing. Okay, like, you do music, right? Yes. Okay, okay. So you got an album out, or nope? I have a single. I'm working on a project right now. With my it? single is called Cardi Party. Okay. With a Cardi Party. Cardi means hey. you being in one facility uh-huh. where there's two or more pair of Cartier glasses, mm. it's a Cardi party. It's a Cardi party. Shout out to Detroit, wow. man. Shout out to Detroit. <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> Detroit, <laughs> man. We, we put that out there for yeah. real. A lot of places want to claim Cardi's. And we we no. really made them popular like that, But I would that, say man. if I went to any other state and somebody told me that they was having a Cardi party and it meant two or more Cardi's, mm. I probably wouldn't even go. You I would, no, but I would in a D. <laughs> yeah, I would. Yeah. So shout out to the D. Yeah. I mean, you go the anywhere, it's a Cardi No, but you know, but you know what, though, real shit. When I was in Greenville, South Carolina, I came in there with some buffs. He, he, like, you from Detroit, ain't you? I'm like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, no, nigga, no. Know. yeah. yeah and now I'm about to leave before you ride me, country ass. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Casey? How was your weekend, brother? It's still going. We just uh, promoting gunplay. Okay, shout out to gunplay, man. Definitely finishing yeah. up the final edits and not hanging out with Rita D. That's, that's oh, my man. Man. He was there. That's, been my, that's been my weekend. That's been my weekend. Man, that's so yeah. much. Uh, what about Listen, you, Jay? I'm gonna have something. Too late. 
Um, <laughs> this weekend, like KC said, it's still going. Mm. So it was it was full of gunplay. So we locked in on the the soundtrack. Ain't no switching on the up. promotion. Y'all need these um, songs for the soundtrack? We Can people reach out to y'all? Locked in. Oh, okay. I just said it. Oh, okay. It's, it's over, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely, man. So are you on the soundtrack, Queen? Or um, did they put Cardi Party on there? I'm not I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, okay, we're going to see that, man. I hope they do. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, since you wasn't here last week, let's talk about your your role in gunplay and uh, the level that you're trying to go to in acting. As far as how you get in acting and et cetera. Yeah, so um, my role in gunplay is Samantha Avery. Mm-hmm. I am a wife and a mother. Okay, and Look like you fit the description. Yeah, yeah come on, you know, talk that you shit. Know. And I, I play a little a, a role that is not uh-huh. <laughs> a not a good role for everyone who's okay. watching. You know, it's pretty much frowned upon. But I'm an undercover fed, so yeah. Oh, okay. She the police. Yeah. Let me put this weed down in <laughs> <this> bag. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's all I can give you um, with that. Gunplay, June 18th, you know what time it is. They you got to come man, and definitely. see what the twists and turns of this movie is giving. Because me just telling you that is just mm-hmm. the smallest piece to this thousand puzzle that we have here. So mm-hmm. um, I got started with acting back in 2019. Okay. Um, I was actually, you know, a, a part of Bad Girls. I would just have a small cameo role in that. I oh, straight up, the, the show that was on... Um like the reality show? No, no. Oh, okay. No, no, it's the movie. <laughs> it's like, you fought old girl. No, it's, 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 it's some other bad girl. No, it's You were on that short. Like, get a bag. Bag. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Bag. B-A-G. B-A-G. Yeah, okay. Chris with a doll and uh, 3D Tane um, and Carmen Michelle. So it was a, a Arbor Cineplex film. Shout and, out to Will and Howard. Yeah. Mm. Definitely. It was a really great experience. Um, shout out to Chris with a doll because she was the person who oh, really connected that dot for mm. me. I always give her her flowers because I if it was not for that phone call and like her showing them me I would not be sitting here in front of Casey and Jen like giving me another opportunity to act for another one of their projects so. definitely so you rocked it out the first time so far as you getting into acting um what made you like let me go try for this let me go try and see if I can do this what made you just get that um because a lot of people be scared to chase ambition and dreams and stuff like that so what made you just be like let me go try or did somebody because you are a beautiful woman so I'm pretty sure somebody told you you could be in a movie so what happened with that how did that happen the thing with that is is like I kind of been doing this my whole life mm. like that's the thing okay. like I started off with dance ballet like modern like at the age of three and mm-hmm. then it just moved up from there I was on the dance team in middle school and high school I took theater class and in high school so it was kind of just been something I've been practicing my whole life but to go out there and do it I guess I was just presented with the right opportunity mm. like that's the mm-hmm. best way I can put it mm-hmm. any questions Reed? yeah well I- well, I mean, you. Hey, hey, w- 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 I'm gonna tell you, so. you're a smooth guy. I like how you do that. <laughs> so, you know what made you always want to do this? Act, you're a beautiful woman. I mean, let me tell you, you're beautiful. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you, now, you are a beautiful back woman, back, baby. This is what and I you can do. act. I'm gonna tell you, now, I put you yeah. in the movie right now. I like that. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hold on. Don't let me get the Billy D on there. Hey, give me something, Jack. Turn off. No, but I can tell that you have a lot of talent. So, in 2019, and when you got the phone call, and now because you're rapping, what? Where do you see yourself in five years? I see myself doing exactly what God called me to do, which is literally me exploring all my talents, whether it's, I don't know what it will take me to. I don't know if acting Mm -hmm. would take a larger role or if my music would take off, but it's like... Do you Whatever. do hair and nails or anything? I do everything myself. I'm saying. <laughs> she look like a hustler, man. You a Gemini? You got to be a Gemini. No. That's what I'm saying. I'm mm. just saying. Shout out to y'all, though, but Shout I am a Leo. To... Oh, Lord. <laughs> She's a lion. Yeah. So when you say, I can see you got a lot of talent, how do you see that? Me? You just meet somebody. Because, you got a lot you know, of talent. You know what? Some people because got that glow. I, you know why? Mm-hmm. Because I am. Um, Nobody tell me that kind of For stuff. myself, I am spirit fed. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so I have the ability, and it's very scary. Mm. But those who have it, I have the ability to be able to see into people. Mm. That's real talk. Mm. Um, it, yeah. it, 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 and it in my, 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 I got it for my mom. She I, has it, and I, I, and I don't like it. I I'm do. not gonna tell you. I don't like it all the time because you see things that um, you don't want to see. Yeah. Shit. Mm-hmm. So I, like I, I, I can see into people Absolutely. too. Absolutely. And you know I got a lot of talent. See, I look at a woman, I'm like, you look single to these busts. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to KC, man. So, yeah, man. So, any other projects other than Gunplay coming up for you, Queen? That's all that matters um, right now. Uh, no, no, we don't do that. We don't do that. 
This is a, this is gonna play take over. Wait, 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 If it's not music, we won't talk about it. Wait, wait, wait. Any other music projects? So, 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 so. You got any projects coming up after the gunplay? This is Herbalty podcast. Now, you can answer your question yourself. Now, if you want to promote gunplay and that's it, you want to listen to the last, then that's cool. But do you have anything else you working on? Crazy. Right. We gonna ask questions. Um, I do have some stuff coming up, um, but gunplay is the main thing that I'm focused on right okay. now. So well, what can I follow you? Team, you can follow me <laughs> on IG at I am Leah and V underscore. Okay. okay. Yep. And your music too, okay. Spotify. Yes, my okay. music is on all streaming Cardi platforms. Party, make sure y'all check that out. Okay. So if y'all want to see what else she got going on, go on her IG. Mm-hmm. That's where we disclose information. Just know, I'm definitely, just definitely. busy, busy. <laughs> this project coming out. Just it's a blessing. When one door yeah. op- uh, closes, another one opens. It's mm-hmm. a blessing. Yeah, man. So again, man, I apologize today for y'all. I just came in different, but I'm back on it. So what was the topic for the day, really, D? The topic for the day is, um, and I don't know if Miles, how Miles wrote it, but we giving a shout out to Gunplay. So, love and, love and loyalty. Love and loyalty. Which, for me, for, well, one of the questions um, that we were having a discussion with over the weekend, which was got like really super heated, was what's more important, love or loyalty? Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to go with KC and allow him to answer the question first. Mm-hmm. Don't choose me. Uh... I mean, it's a show, nigga. The loyalty got to be. I mean, (laughs) nigga, want to talk that? Love, love, come and go. The loyalty is what is what's there. So, absolutely, we've been rocking, and I've been there for you. I expect you to be loyal to me. Mm. Absolutely, he say we locked in, ain't no switching up. Ain't none. I come from, we live and die by that. So, you switch up, you done for. Mm. Right, it's over. What about you, Queen? Same, like. Love will come and go, and then you do love people by default. Like you can't mm. stop loving that person just mm. because that's your mind. Like you always gonna have a, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like you always have that letter for that person, yeah. but they can't crush you. So yeah, it's like it's I'm gonna go right. To I'm loyalty. going right by the loyalty. Yeah. Absolutely. What about you, Queen? Oh, it's a hundred percent loyalty. Mm. Loyalty definitely mm-hmm. impacts the way that you love. Mm-hmm. I'm actually, I'm gonna go off something that you had said when you said you love by default. How did, have y'all ever been in love with somebody and could let the motherfuckers go? And how did y'all get out of that situation, man? Because first you gotta take a special <laughs> bag. No, right. nah, because no, nah, yeah, because right. because you know how some people have your ass drawn when you just cannot let the motherfuckers get out your system. Mm-hmm. And I know obviously we all have grown. So well, I'm gonna start with you, really. He says you right here next to me. What was the way that you just let that shit go? Like, man, just let me let God, please. I just first I did say God please you know what I'm saying because when you in love and you love somebody and you feel like that's the person that you're gonna be with you try to um, look past their flaws you know you don't try to change anybody because you can't but you just try to you know how did you escape in my younger my younger uh, relationships it was more it was harder but I think once I got off over that initial first mm. love, second love, all that other shit was like, you know what? Fuck it, it ain't work. Do you it, think you be hurt, but you, you move on? Do you think through your age, you older enough, you've been dating long enough to see red flags now, and now you know, okay, now I can't deal with that no more. Yeah, because it's mm. boundaries. Mm. So now it's not red flags to me; it's boundaries. Yes. It's what I'm willing to accept and what I'm willing to go through. Mm. So if I see something that I'm not willing to, and I address that with that person, uh, and they don't change their behavior, I got nothing. I, I can't gotta, do nothing. I but leave. Chuck up the deuces. I'm gonna I'm hurt now, so I don't have to hurt for this duration Absolutely. of being with you. I love you. Yeah. I won't tell your secrets because that's my loyalty, mm-hmm. but I got to let you go. Because I love you, but I love me. But I love me more. Come on, I man. Love me Talk more. to me. Let me get a round of applause. I love me more. Your phone, damn. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Casey? Man, have you ever had a woman that you like, damn, I just can't get rid of you? And how did you end up just letting I, her go? I detach fast. Oh, okay. Like, seriously, I can cut a motherfucker off and mm-hmm. you never existed to me. Mm. So that's probably one of my biggest issues that if I let go, I can just be like... Hey, what happened to such a... We done. Fuck them. Yeah. yeah. You don't, you don't think about them or nothing? I stand like... on it. I'm team me. Okay. I tell Absolutely. you, like, I love me more than anybody else. Mm. Like, I've had conversations that most people don't agree with about how much I care about me. Mm. <laughs> There's should, nobody more important than me. Yeah, yeah. Nobody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What about you, Quinn? But wait, I want to say this. When he, It's nobody that's more important than you. So your happiness means everything to you. So you're not going to jeopardize your peace and still, mm. still stay, stick with that person. That's I will let go. Yeah. Okay. And I think that's a big problem with people out here dating and not being healed still. You know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. Walking around, oh, yeah. acting, uh, corrupting other people. Absolutely. I've been one of them. My corrupting bad. people peace. <laughs> most people don't know how to date. <laughs> That's the thing. Like a lot of people don't know how to date. Yeah, I tell women that all the time. 
time. Like dating don't mean necessarily you fucking everybody, but right. understanding, okay, what does this person do that I like? What right. does this person do that I don't like? Okay, I went out with this person. I had this experience. Like you have to become well rounded. Yeah. And when you mm-hmm. go and you just deal with one person, that's all you know. Yeah. When you meet somebody else, usually it's like, oh, now I'm all in with this person. Yeah. And you don't have a chance to really explore and get to, to gain knowledge you know and experience. What, you know what it is? It's, it's from that song Erica Badu, that bag lady. <laughs> like you taking all your bags to different yeah. destinations, but it's yeah. yeah. you know and packed somewhere. They, it was you know frowned what I'm upon for so long because people looked at mm-hmm. it like if, if I see this woman out with multiple men, yeah. then she a hoe, like the Lori Harvey thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm a Lori Hardy fan. Like them, mm-hmm. everybody I like fuck. her. Hell yeah! I got a quote for Rita Dee's reading. What, what, I, what I like about it is, is <laughs> that's, it's, shout out to the Capricorn. Nobody, that's what she nobody's is. seen her having sex with anybody. No, no. all you've seen her doing is that gender and, and she just and dating. You know what? She just dating, because but it's, it's just out in the public because it's so, you know like she dating you know well known people. But, but you everybody know date like that. You know One, she, she got is real, and it says, "I am the prize." Remember, I am the prize. Mm. She's the prize. So at the end of the day, she saw something or they saw something that came together. It didn't work out and she moved on. A lot of people talk about healing and after you get out of a relationship, you have to, uh, you shouldn't serial date or you should Mm. just be by yourself and things like that. But if that works for her, who are we to say what works for anybody else? Yeah, I just had the same way. I, the same way I had with you. You gotta catch people while they care. Yeah, you have to catch yeah. catch me while I care. Because once I don't care, I don't. I yeah. am a whole it's different person. I don't even believe it's not such a thing as a hoe. You said you don't believe it's anything. It just no, it. it's experience in life. Mm-hmm. And I think I think we put too much grips on that shit. Like you said, man, friendly. how can you be out? You just having fun with life. Shit, hell yeah. I'm, I'm pro-choice. Whatever makes you happy, it mm-hmm. makes me that happy. doesn't affect me, yeah. you can do. I hell like that. Yeah. You are yeah, like a crackhead, that. you can be the best crackhead you can be. Yeah. I just don't want to fund the crack. No, no. <laughs> That's it. Right. But I give you a dollar for 10 push-ups. Shout out right. to the niggas I gave a dollar to for 10 push-ups. I make you work for that dollar, nigga. Hell yeah. But no, man, at the end of the day, um, what about you, Queen? Have you ever been in a relationship you just couldn't let the nigga go? You like, damn, just leave. And how did you get away? Yeah. And <laughs> it was like, what? <laughs> like, I still ain't got away. I'm still here. <laughs> that nigga outside the car. I saw that little window open. Yeah, no, no. No, go ahead, Queen. Real, real talk here. No, definitely let that go. Mm. Best decision of my life. Yeah. Literally, people can block your blessings. Yeah. God is talking to you. He's telling you. He's showing you these signs. And you're not listening. You're not paying attention. Mm. So he like, all right you being disobedient right. like how many times you got to keep learning the same thing over from the same person yeah. expecting different results exactly. insanity because I believe that Literally. God will take mm-hmm. you through things over and over and over again until you until get it, you get it yep. so that he can bless you with mm-hmm. what he wants you to have because mm-hmm. everybody can't go nope. we keep trying to take everybody with us because once They've been again. around and we got yeah. pine. But we, because yeah. you know what? But that's because yeah. people think history equals love. It does. Nigga, just because I know you for it a long don't. time, we just on our different paths. I got niggas that I that I been through the trenches with that yeah. I don't fuck with. Not because I don't mm-hmm. want to be around you. It's just my life is different. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I got a lot more to lose now. I could have met you three saying? months and you mm-hmm. did more for me in three mm-hmm. months yeah. than somebody mm-hmm. I knew for 15 years. Real yeah. shit. Family too, though. That's Family how it goes back to that love and loyalty thing. That love can come and go, but I don't got time. Like, if you really been there for me and you meant well for me have good intentions then okay cool we rocking yeah. so we can't rock no more but Real shit. we gotta learn to let people go learn let it. people go Once man God take them out of our lives and show us who they are we bringing them back yeah. so we gotta learn to because let you, go. i think that all derives from fear you know what i'm saying fear is the yeah. biggest thing out of just being a human and we have a fear of not seeing them no more you know that's why we go so crazy when people die but we all believe in god and says hey we're gonna see him again but we're not gonna mm-hmm. see him while we're here on this earth i'm yeah. not gonna go into the church of herbal tea podcast today. <laughs> A pimp, he definitely said a pimp. What about you, Queen? Have you ever gotten had a, been in a relationship where you like, damn, I just cannot let this. You dude know, me and Lou been together since you know 1987. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Lou Ross. Shout out to Lou. <laughs> um, in different types of relationships, I think just because of how I am, it is hard. Like, I'm not an easy detacher like Casey. Mm. Um, 
I have a lot of faith in people. Oh, you love Ooh, her. Yeah. I, I, I she did, love I, too I, hard. Equal I really crazy. Do. It's not equally crazy, <laughs> but definitely hard. And I like to see the best in people. So it's it's kind of hard for me to give up on people. Yeah. Um, yeah. I would but agree. If you, if right. you put me in a place where I have to choose me or you and you force me to choose me, mm. then I will. Yeah. And then I I don't feel bad. Can she about get a hand clap? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Because definitely, she's preaching today. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm just saying. No, no. But, uh, Jen can watch you. She can watch you take the boxes out her house and put them in a U-Haul, and she's like, "Well, Kay, maybe they just was going on the trip. <laughs> <laughs> they wasn't stealing from me, Kay. I'm like, Jen, the motherfuckers still look at the ring camera. <laughs> look at that. That's your TV. That's yeah. not that. Shout out Kay. to the niggas that maybe ran they was, across her. Maybe they was going to watch the game. <laughs> Kay with friends. Jen will get when I say she will come up with an excuse and give you the benefit of doubt. I really she will. No, the man, I, think, uh, I am with that. me with me man when I'm I was in a, when I was in a relationship and I couldn't let go man the only thing that helped me was time man I'm cuz I'm crazy and I love her and I'm a Gemini you scared and, me uh, man and uh and I and I'm definitely psycho man I, even oh, though man. even my side hoe I'll be mad when she cheat on me too man I ain't gonna even lie nigga. <laughs> I am definitely uh, uh like, you was with your wife but you shouldn't have been with nobody you shouldn't have been with right. nobody hey, you know I'm, Tuesday's his wife there. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, no, no, man, but I just think that time is the biggest healer of all and God as y'all said as well man definitely man so I just shout out to the people that's going through that man and hopefully y'all can get through that all right, I got a next question you know what they need to get some okay so WJ too smooth he say he did. my side shout out to the Lord right. I say <laughs> What's that? What's that? the Lord hey, together? Y'all so better cold. tell him I do. You're so <laughs> cold with the Lord. God knows. God knows your heart. Oh, right? yeah, God God know your heart. Say, Lord, no, I'm going to save it for later. Okay. Well, I got a next question for y'all, man. Um, I don't know if who's single, who's married in this room, but do y'all think that it's easier dating while you're successful or was it even easier dating when you didn't have as much? And I'm going to start with you, Queen. I don't know if you're single or not, but is it is it easy dating when you're successful? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see that clap. smooth shit. Give me a hand clap. You know what I'm saying? And the fellas want to know. The chat want to know. Uh, there you go. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Hey, hey, give me some, Bob. Right on. But, uh, but, uh, no, but is, is, it, is it hard dating I am now not. or back <laughs> I, then? I am very much fucking for it. I don't, I don't want nobody calling me, texting Stay me. Out of inbox. Inbox. Leave me alone. Ooh. That's it. And fellas, when y'all said dick pics, man, put <laughs> lotion on the motherfuckers, man. The ladies complaining, man. Hell yeah, what about you, Do you think it's hard dating when you're successful or dating when you didn't really have a lot? I can't speak for a man, but. I want to say probably for a man it would be a lot harder mm. if they don't if it's if they're not successful. Are men intimidated by you mostly? Yes, mm. they are. Mm. Um, because I'm the table. Mm. Come on, okay. I'm the whole. You don't table. even need nigga to bring no chairs. No, come on. I don't. All what I kind need, of table? Mm. Bring another table. Say this big ass table. Okay, so KC said, "What kind of table? Mm. That little table when you eat off I, of when you when at your I grandma's say house." Say that I bring everything. I bring honesty, loyalty, accountability, um, love. I bring stability, safe, mm -hmm. peace. Mm -hmm. I bring it all. So when I say I am the table, I mean that I am 100% who I am in my words is going to follow my actions. Amen. So mm -hmm. I am the table. Mm -hmm. So they are intimidated by me because of my success. For me, it's not success. But for others, they look at what I have mm -hmm. and I don't have a lot. They just on the outside looking in. So don't mm -hmm. don't look me up and try to find my address. But what that means, <laughs> I'm just saying. But what I do have, I'm willing to share. Definitely. That's the table. That sounds like all. a table. That's I bring yeah. my table. Yeah. That's so, that's fellas, if you look for somebody, is. read a D is five, seven, uh, a hundred and 80 pounds. She, uh, I'm thick. <laughs> but what about you, Queen? She's a Capricorn. She like long walks on the beach. I like long walks on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what about you, Queen? Uh, what about you? Well... I mean, I, I've been married for quite a while, so it'll be 20 years next year. Oh, you out the Shout game. out to Lou. Hey, here, 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 here. Stay with Lou, because the dating game and the dating pool got pissed in. I, to be I'm honest, you, so if, no I had, shout out. if I had to These jump out there and date, it, it wouldn't be nice. I think if I, if I had to date as me right now, I, I wouldn't be anything nice. Man, for, it's, for the it's crazy. It's here. like the younger it's, girls act more yeah. mature than the older women. It. The young, young, older women want a TikTok. They want oh, all these bitches. I don't want a TikTok. I'm not. No, I don't want to TikTok. I don't want to be savage. I don't want to be 
doing any of that. I'm just saying. Green, I'm gone. Nah. I'm <laughs> He's on me, man. For real, man. Pay your bills and I don't live. I wish Bye. you would have a nigga over there. I, I, I don't shoot want no man nigga. paying my bills. I pay my own bills. Okay, what I need no. you to do is be a man. And yeah. a lot of these Absolutely. grown That's males it. are not men. Absolutely. Not. Absolutely. My tolerance yeah. is So do y'all think it's social media yeah. that has everybody this place in it? What their I role is? It, or what y'all think? So I think what it is, for, like, from my perspective, from what I can see, mm. is like... Okay, growing up, I seen, you know, my man, my father be the man of the house. I seen my mm-hmm. dad actually play that role. So it's like, yes. I feel like it started really deterring with reality TV. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's real. And like, what I mean by that is like the serial dating shows. Mm. Like, so you giving this ideal image to young viewers like myself who's watching Flavor of Love. I'm a teenager. Yeah. So you're instilling this. Oh, girls are going crazy because they want to talk to, you know, this guy. And then now you're showing that there's competition based. Like, mm. oh, so now I got to compete with this person yeah. to get this person's attention more. Mm-hmm. Than, so now that's just like embedded. We watching it because we think mm. it's entertainment. Yeah. And now here comes social media. Boom. Now it's more accessible. Now mm. it's like, oh, like I don't gotta, I don't gotta do this and that. Cause right. like as soon as she pissed me up, oh, yeah. they go three it's girls. Gone. I'm about to slide yeah. on. So same just, same with yeah. us. And then it's, it's, it's like this. It's like I think social media has built in an unrealistic standard for dating for people who really don't have it. Because a lot of times, <laughs> yes. motherfuckers don't look like shit. They <laughs> have fifty likes and they're curving in the inbox. Three clap. You bad bitch. <laughs> 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 But, um, I like yeah. the filters. I like the filters. It'll be the filters, but yeah, it'll be the filters, but it's, too. It's like people have unrealistic standards. Like, I want a man yeah. that... I want a man that provide, protect, good sex, go to church, don't cheat, g- uh, uh, great credit. Bitch, mm-hmm. if I got all that, I've got three of y'all. I don't need no one woman. But what's wrong? That's, that's, the that's the problem. What's wrong with us wanting <laughs> no that? Clap. Because you know, no, 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 let me finish. Because the problem with the men today is they allowing everybody to get in the lanes. Mm. If everybody knew what lane they was, it wouldn't be no traffic. Back in the day, okay. like she was saying, her dad, my dad was a provider even to this day now. Mm. It's nothing that even now as... 43, mm. I can't call and ask him for right. it. So with that being said, but now the men today, you can't even get them to change your windshield wiper. We don't know how. <laughs> yeah. right. We pay, we pay somebody to do it. That's that's no. We pay somebody to do it. But I think, sometimes, I think sometimes... No, but what I, but what what? I was going to say is... Even if granddaddy, because I'm going to take it back to granddaddy, because granddaddy, y'all remember, they had multiple families. Yeah. But that woman never came over to grandma's house Mm-mm. and said, hey, your husband, da 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 no. Now we got women in our DMs. We got them texting. How I'm you fucking get your man. Yeah. They, yeah. Ha, uh, they FaceTiming while he's sleeping. Yeah. They tagging. You know, they, they, they under <laughs> every yeah. pose. They yeah. liking, loving. Come on, talk to them. Know what lane you in, because you know who you are. Mm-hmm. So when you sound, figure out who you are, you'll do biff different. Yeah. If you knew better, you'll do better, so it's good. No, that's real talk, man. I think, yeah. I think a lot of times, but far as social media, I, and, that, and that has opened up a lot of more doors, it's almost like everybody wants to embarrass the next person. Yeah. Like, I want I want to mm-hmm. show off on you. I want to show I can fuck your man and you know what I'm saying? I, this shit is retarded as hell. So and do we know that our kids going to be able to see this shit so when they get older? I'm saying that. All yeah. like everybody want to be number one. Yeah, you know, yeah. that's crazy. Even, even if you settle for number two, you really want to be number one. Yeah. Like, right. yeah. You got to right. understand something. Right. You, you've right. never heard anybody say, when I I grow up, I want to be the assistant chief of police. Right. When right. I grow up, yeah. I want to be Beyonce backup singer. No, you want to be Beyonce. Yeah, right. You Absolutely. want to be chief of police. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody Absolutely. comes That's in the world tough. like, I want to be number two. I, I want to be runner up. No, it don't happen like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, so, but be number one in your lane. Mm, don't try to be number exactly. one in somebody Listen, else's don't, lane. Nobody, that's their wants, place. nobody wants something that somebody else ain't already got. Mm, I tell you all true. the time. You know I, why I drive the car I drive? Because I saw somebody else in it. Like I would be the man if I had this bitch right. Damn, I need that. <laughs> you want the first person? Like, let me go in here and get me a designer. They're gonna design my own car for me. It don't work like that. Nah, you like, you, you see you, it. That's you see you it. So yeah. somebody saw you. See somebody like man, his and girl, and his and girl and cold. You know, so crazy. That's that's all the time. Trans over into dating too. Like we, we, all the women down there look alike. The same long hair, the same lashes, the same nails. You like, damn. But when I'm kind of find, find me a little short guy bitch with an afro. Shout out to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a pass on that one. Okay. Next question. Uh, I got next question. I got for the women. Why women don't ask guys out if they see one they like? I, it was a big I, a question I asked on Facebook and it went crazy. So let me get, answer first. Go ahead, Queen. 
Mm-mm. Because I did not look at the comments. Okay. But I was I wanted to comment. Okay, so for me, I never have a problem with shooting my shot if I got to. Real Nine shit. times out of ten, my aura, my the way I talk, the way I carry myself, they gonna shoot their shot. All I gotta do is make eye contact with somebody for me. Oh, that well, is gonna open shit. up the door. You got? I got them. Man, I'm just Ooh, saying. Them them eyes eyes. Be like, yeah. Yeah. Catch me out. Catch yeah. me out. Catch me out. Catch me out. Shout the out. Miles, to you this. ain't got them though. Miles, you, you ain't got them. So, <laughs> Shout out to Miles, our energy so engineer. So with that being said, um, they gonna pick up over the how, the dopeness because mm. it's a spirit thing. Mm-hmm. I told right. you it's a spirit thing with me. So when I see something I like and I want it, mm. I'm going to attract them to me. Mm. Absolutely. But have you ever said, hey, James, after work, you want to go out for a drink? Have you ever just did that? No, because the first day, James like, hey, can you help me with this assignment real quick? <laughs> so then we already working yeah. on an assignment and then he like, what you doing after work? You want to grab a quick drink? Mm. I'm like, fuck it. Have Let's you go. ever said, have you ever initiated like, hey, you want to grab a drink after work? No. Mm. Okay. Maybe afraid of rejection for real. Yeah. I don't want to date nobody. Maybe intimidated. No. Oh, hold on. Hey, so, yeah. case, go ahead and say no. your point, bro. You about no. to say some real shit. He, he, he said, said, he said no, some real or shit. Is this for the women or is this for Rita D? No, he was answering the whole. Yeah, oh, it's a whole. Okay, okay, go ahead. Go ahead, bro. You said they're afraid oh, of rejection. You, yeah, I mean, I meet a lot of women, and even if you go back to, like, if you go to the bar, mm. especially like we just use a strip club as an example. A stripper's job is to come introduce themselves to you and get your money. Right. Mm. But you'd be surprised how many strippers who are technically independent contractors who are salesmen. Shout out right. to you. You're selling the fantasy <laughs> or whatever it is. Well, like, hey, I did not say anything to you because I was afraid that you were going to reject me. I was afraid mm. you was going to say something like, oh, get out my face or you're not my type. And when you go out, like, women are like that all the time. Like, you, oh. women are, the average woman does not want to be rejected. They can they can dish it out, but they're not gonna take it because they're not used to handling it. Guys, most guys like what they shooting they shooting free throws like Shaq. Like shit, some no, of them go you, in, some go out. I mean, uh, to be honest, I I don't really understand that because me either. I don't I don't I can't see a woman going into an environment and picking a guy and he rejects her. Like I've and oh, I guess I it's that. being around a lot of guys. Yeah. I don't. Guys are so ridiculously easy. Is absolutely no yeah. reason to be intimidated. Oh, they are, like they are so <laughs> easy. I'm easy on like a Sunday sh- morning. Sh- exactly. Like it, they are so easy. It, it's nothing to pull a guy. But can I like, say so this? I don't understand. Can I say this? It's then they meet me, and I be looking at my just. No, it's probably yeah. the women. It's probably <laughs> the women that Jen surrounds herself with. Because I seen some I surround friends, myself don't around a certain <laughs> caliber <laughs> of women. Like so women. when you surround yourself around that certain caliber of people, mm, the confidence, the, the confidence for somebody to say they don't like rejection, we get rejected in all every aspect of our lives. Mm-hmm. So for that, that to me sounds like insecure. That to me but sounds see, like but that's what it brings out insecurity. But, but, it's, no, but it ain't, it ain't really because as a guy. I'm the kind of guy if I if I shot my shot and you said no, that's not gonna hurt my confidence. The first thing mm-hmm. I'm gonna say is, you know what, she like guys with braids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She like guys with beard. That, that's how that's that's I she like women with men with hair. Like a not woman, not she, it's because I'm fat. That's what it yeah. is. Yeah. Like women automatically jump off the deep end. To, Y'all gotta remember something. Not. You can't you, look you at yourself them individually. All into one category I, listen, I go off the, the law of it's large numbers. Okay. It's them as I hold. The large numbers of women that surround you and the environments that you are in are highly insecure. Mm-hmm. No. So you run into that a lot. Kate, where you hang out at? I, don't, I can't tell. Okay. Yeah. 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 So those box. women. <laughs> yeah. I just think. I just think. I just think. I just think that. Shout I, out to the half hour. Shout out to the half hour. But no, don't tell them where it's at because I'm at you with that. But uh, what, what I was think. What, my, what I was think. What I was about to say was. Um, I think it's kind of rejection as well because women been hit on since they was eleven. Niggas been trying to talk to you know women, so they always since had eleven. Yeah, oh yeah. No, yeah, no yeah. you think. <laughs> you think that. women haven't been getting on? Y'all remember them niggas used to drop Man, them girls yeah. off the high school, nigga? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gonna act like our well, the first nigga. Right. No, I'm just but saying, still. but y'all been hit uh, on since yeah, then. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Since y'all got tits and ass and shit, motherfuckers been hitting on y'all. So I, think, I was a late bloomer. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you got ass now. Shout out to Rita D, man. Let's get a round of applause. <laughs> 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 Oh, it is. And I got it from my mama. 
mama. Yeah, I shout out to Miss Dixon. No, no disrespect. <laughs> shout out to Bro for his birthday yesterday. Shout out to Bro for his birthday yesterday. It's natural. Definitely, definitely, definitely. But no, no. I oh think, yeah, wait. But, mm. Shout out to my brother. Yeah, shout Let out. Let me give a shout out to my brother. Um, my brother turned forty five yesterday. Mm, definitely. I call him my twin because he's been my protector, my provider, my best friend through my whole entire life. It's nothing mm. that I can't ask him for. He can't ask me for. It's literally when I hurt, he hurt. When he hurt, I'm hurt, and we. We know when something ain't right. So shout out to the best brother. My mother raised him right. My dad raised him right. He is everything for real. Shout yeah. out to the weed man. Yeah. Yeah. A woman I mean, like, yeah. What's his name, Rita? <laughs> He's married. That's awesome. He's married. <laughs> He's married, but that's one of the first men in my life that showed me how a man was supposed to treat me. So mm. I just want to give him his flowers while he can smell them as well. Mm, definitely. Shout out to bro, man. Mm. One more round of applause, man. Definitely, man. All right, man. I got a next question for y'all, man. I'm going to start with Queen over here because she hasn't said nothing in a minute. Do you avoid... Wait, 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 wait. I don't want to get off um, subject. I know we're running out of time. Um, mm. I do want to play the trailer, though. Oh, yeah. Gunplay. Play the trailer, Miles. Yeah, we're going to kick it in the trailer, man. Go. So. Play the month. Oh, tell me. Tell me. Tell me. She yeah. never said... Do you take your shot? Before, when you no. were single? No. Not taking a shot? No. Why? Because what What do I have to take the shot for? I'm not chasing you. Mm. I know my place. You're I know prize. what my worth is. I'm not doing she that. She is the prize. And then the, at the end of the day, they be more intimidated by me. Yeah. They be like, oh, I don't know if you was going to reject me. You mm. right. And then the ones she that do come right. up to me have <laughs> always have the audacity out of the world. Ooh, they'll be the ugliest ones. Be like, yeah, they, baby. I ain't going to go into that. The ugly niggas with the they money. having the most audacity. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, speak on that. They make you want to be valuable. I was one of them ugly niggas with no money. Like, damn, she. Yeah. But do you Y'all, y'all mind, y'all be like, how did this nigga, why would he ever think that I would talk? Do y'all think that? Yes, that's the exact thought. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. But horrible, not even man. only that, not y'all even only that, mm-hmm. not even only you, I ain't even even that even that 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 you know, that 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 I'm shallow as hell. All right, man, we're going to get into this trailer real quick. We're going to get into this trailer. Let's go. Okay. Stupid question, but not really that stupid. Why do you have a picture with a bubble hanging up on your wall? Because I'm a hitman. <laughs> my dad used to be in the army with my godfather, Texas. They used to do like black ops and shit, but he got an honorable discharge a few years back. PTSD and anxiety. He's been real paranoid and having nightmares and stuff. He's been teaching me and Malik how to defend ourselves. I'm talking about boxing gyms, mixed martial arts, and gun ranges. Like I could really fuck somebody up. That's gonna hit you hard in the life, son. Let's go. Eat. You are such an amazing father. He and the kids are so lucky to have you. Thank you, baby. Your wife a fucking fan, my nigga. It ain't shit else to talk about. Look, let me talk to her. Give me 24 hours. I'll convince her to walk away from the case and get whatever information she got on that court. You sure that's him, bro? Yeah. I remember his face when we slid on his whole ass friends last year. His twin sister walking with the two. <laughs> My pops gonna find y'all and make sure all y'all niggas pay for this shit. You find him now. I don't care what you have to do. But you find him. And when you find him, you kill him. Try and get it. Sam, I'm coming through trouble. I'm on your six. Come 
Hey, man, make sure y'all check out Gunplay, the movie, June 18th, man. Father's Day weekend, man. That shit looks so good. I hope they give me some free tickets for they need this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> as much money as you make to drive in that damn truck. <laughs> we don't always hey, I know what a Texas El Paso load <laughs> with that go for. Yeah, I know. Alejandro probably gave you a double bag to bring no. back. <laughs> oh, oh, but no, for real, where about. can I, um, the movie's going to be shown at the Bel Air. Everybody know where the Bel Air is. Yeah. If you don't know, eight it's on eight and guess what? And guess what, Herbal T Podcast people? I want y'all to pack that. That motherfucker out. I want to see all y'all in that boy having a good time, smoking the car. You know how y'all do coming in there, put some cologne on though. Nobody was smell that shit, but come and pack that bitch out. Uh, gunplay the movie, man. I'm so proud of y'all, man. This looks so good. I appreciate and you that, looking man. so good in them jeans. Uh, <laughs> shit. Can we go and replay rewind this motherfucker? I'm gonna send it to you, Gunplay. That way you keep watching. Shit. Hey, her man. June 18th, Bel-Air. June 18th. How much are the tickets? Where can they get them from? Tickets. Uh, general admission, $30. VIP tickets are 50 You can get the tickets at Eventbrite. You put in Gunplay, put in the word gun. It's going to pop up. Uh, all the castmates have them. Link you can get the them bio. at CaseyCarsonProductions.com. You can call me 586-255-5636. You can email me, Casey. <laughs> I take letters from birds. I do smoke signals. Uh, Rita D is in the spirit. So if you channel with her, she's going to come to me. I feel it's, it. It's a lot of ways for you to get these tickets. I feel it. It's a lot no, of ways. Y'all can reach out to me. Um, inbox me, but don't inbox me asking me no questions. Just you need a ticket, okay? Yeah, also, um, you have an after party. You we have an after party yeah. club okay. special line. We still got a few booths available. Again, Hopefully shout out to my man DJ Liz. He's uh, helping us put this after party together. I was gonna shout the DJ out. I forgot his name. That bad damn. Shout out to the DJ. <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> DJ Mark G. Yeah, there we go. Oh, shout out right, to Mark right. G. Coalition man, definitely, man. Shout out to all that, man. June 18th, man. We're gonna try to pack that motherfucker hey, out, hey, man. Shout out to the team. the movie, man. Shout out to them, man. And um, shout out to the people who was on the podcast last week. We're gonna double y'all this Tia week. We're gonna play we're gonna play the first one. Shout and they're gonna Tia. play the last one. So we're gonna replay it. Um, so we make sure everybody smoke, see y'all on there. Hey, my man Don Bishop just joined. Shout out to Don Bishop playing Dallas. Avery. Uh, Dallas Avery. Make sure I shout out my man Cardiac Films, Martez Brooks, DP mm-hmm. of the Year, Editor of the Year. That's my guy. Man, definitely, uh, man. Remember? Oh, from listen, last listen, week? listen. Yeah. We got. I right, listen. I got a powerhouse over here. Okay. You yeah. got a great. I got your shit, man. I got the Western. I got the, the Western Conference All Stars. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and we gonna be. In, we gonna get Cardiac Films, Dream Catch Productions, A Marie. Like I said, I got a team. Mm-hmm. I got my man Romello Ross. He do it all. Like we got a powerhouse. I'm gonna let y'all know. Um, Herbal Tea Podcast. We gonna link up for some. Um. What do they call it before you go on interviews, the show? Interviews. 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 We're doing interviews. We're going to do some interviews. Definitely, okay. man. We're in the building, We're man. we do some. Um, no, yeah, but that's yeah. not the word I'm looking for. WJ, I want you in a three piece, too. Man. I, a three I piece even tuck. got one. I got to see if my old hoe going to give me a couple dollars for it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been you know, going to this little thrift store like the dude my uh, no, military she, discount. I got a couple. She got a little mustache on the side, too, right here. Oh, yeah, well, definitely. Well, we got this for I, no, I was looking at the word I was looking for was MC. Are you guys having a question and answer session from the cast? Are y'all doing that? We can put together Don say no more interviews without calling me first. You know what? I'm going to say, I'm going to shout out to Don. Let, put Don, let, me, let me talk to Don. <laughs> Let me talk to Don. I'm about to say this. Uh, Don, if you out there and you can hear me and you listening to me, all I'm going to say is the D, we show 100% love. So if you want to do an interview, it ain't nothing but to do it, but to, but you got to show up. Listen, How listen. How at me? Yo, people, I'm the people. He get, ready, he get, he get ready for a bodybuilding competition. So I don't let him look here in the gym right now. Yo, he he get ready for a bodybuilding Train. competition. I don't let hey, him come Don. out but. What's up, Don? I am. What's up, Don? I'm the host of Herbal Tea Podcast. I got my other host. What up, though? What up, though, Don? WJ, listen. The D is where it's at, my baby. Come on. We got you. We're going to bring you in. Whatever you need, whatever you need to do, let's go. It's nothing. I'm the people. I ain't got no people, but I reach out to your people. So give it to KC. I know he got you. And let's get this shit popping. No, let's go. We out there. I just had to let KC know. You can put everybody on the radio. You know what I mean? KC just gonna have a charity boxing match. Oh! Okay. You wanna take the first year, first year, oh. first year, oh. first year, first year, first year, first year, first Boxing match, me and KC. Ain't no okay. charity. You gonna need this money for Doctor Bills. Okay, so we gonna put on. Okay, so but but what I'm saying is, you saying a um, boxing match, we 
podcast. We're Herbal Tea Podcast. We're going to be there. We y'all gonna, can host it. We're going to host it. We're going to host it. Y'all heard it here. Y'all heard it here. Y'all heard it here first. All right. Yeah. This is going to be the end of Black Ink. I'm telling y'all now. And I'm a producer. If y'all don't know, this is my man from Black Ink, man. Yeah, he plays say in the movie, man. Say something to the people. <laughs> opportunity to watch it with us for the first time, so go grab these tickets, man. Let's get it. Hey, appreciate right. it, man. Definitely. Listen, if y'all want to see an ass whipping, I'm going to tell y'all. <laughs> Show up. We're going to do it at Super Bad, Super Bad Boxing Gym, 8701 Pearson Avenue. I'm going to be shit out there. I'm going to tell y'all right hey, now. I'm going right, to right, right. tell y'all right Are now. Y'all got, y'all got women? Cause I'm, I, 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 you y'all, y'all not an athlete body. I was oh. an athlete. Oh, so Rita just want to be the bitch ass. She just want to fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This so strong <laughs> ass. Uh, this the only person I know that call body ass nigga want to be the bitch ass and shit. I'm just saying. Are y'all got women? Cause we, I signed yeah. up. This I, is I, personal I between me. I throw some women in there. I'm the only one who threatened him in front of his wife. Oh, okay. Well, it's gotta go. Hey, this wife has a bit of gravity. All right, we gonna, all right, we gonna get to the. All right, excuse me, y'all. Excuse me, y'all. Excuse me, y'all. Let's, let's cut off just a little bit. I want to get to a part of the podcast where everybody shouts at their handle, where they can go ahead and promote their shit, so we can get into everything else. So we are gonna start off with you, Queen. Shout out everything you're doing and what you got going on and what's good. Yeah, so you know what's up, y'all. Again, I am Leah Envy, CEO of the Cake Mob. You can follow me on Instagram at I am Leah Envy underscore. My music is on, on streaming platforms. Cardi Party. Be looking out for that the most important thing is i know y'all gonna follow me mm, yes you gotta definitely. follow me because you gotta hit the link in my bio and Damn you gotta hit the link in my bio to go see gunplay on june 18th yes, yes. 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 put your saying. phone down i see you follow me right <laughs> now put your phone down <laughs> 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 Hey, hey, he googling hey, the words to the story. Like, you like hey, party, party. She got some pictures on hey, you. Hey, hey, hey. I already got hey, three off girls' pictures listen. in my phone. Like. <laughs> don't they just text me no, like, I need some cards. No, I'm talking shit. I got you. I got you, bro. We good. We're going to start. We'll go with you, Queen. What can they find you at? And what's your handles and where, what's, what's your neck? What you got coming up? They can't. They can't. Listen. They they can't that's on media. That's, that's Jen Ross. You're yeah, going to catch her at CaseyCarsonProductions.com. You want to reach her? 586-255-5636. All right, bro. Tell Casey what you need. Hey, bro, shout out your handles and what you got going on. You can find me on Facebook, Casey Carson. That's the initials, KC. Uh, Instagram, I am KC underscore Carson. Mm. Everybody got my number, 586-255-5636. You want your gunplay tickets, go on Eventbrite. You can call or text me, email me. Uh, Miles going to have some tickets here at Podcastic. You know, we're we, we doing a special. You buy your tickets, you get 5% off. And Miles going to cover that 5% and make it 100% for me. Okay. <laughs> What I do want to say is I want to thank you ladies for coming on the show. I want to thank my brother KC because I remember the first time he had came on our show, we just asked him. He just came, man. He's always a joy. Man, he came on the show last week and helped Rita D out. Well, she did, we're not saying she helped out, but he was a great guest on the show. And he's a great guest as, 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 every time, man. And I really appreciate you, brother. No, we family, for, uh, for You know what? And another thing yeah. I want to say is I appreciate you for helping black people get in different situations and different positions that they didn't know they could do. A lot of niggas out here, the gatekeepers, and they have movies and don't want motherfuckers to come in. You help people do it and see talent. And you put your number out, anybody can call this nigga. I ain't going to even lie to him. <laughs> anybody can call this nigga. He's accessible. And I said, and, 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 and that's how you get out here in this business. You got you can't be scared of it, man. You got ain't no new friends. You always got to have new people. That's how you get new opportunities, man. So I just want to say thank you for that. Definitely, man. And uh, I want to shout out Best At It, man. We in the bin in the lab, man, since we can't get on their little soundtrack and shit for the movie. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> One. Gunplay 2 on the way. Gunplay exactly. 2 on the way. And, uh, get your this, this, in this early. part of the show, we finna get into the Reader's Deeds read. Get your in early. And um, please don't say nothing because you get mad at motherfucker. Oh, yeah. And WJ. Mm. Shout out to WJ for being an actor. As well. Oh, yeah, the Hustle movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, Hustle, yeah, Hustle yeah. movie. And that's coming out. Um, I don't know. It's both been on Tubi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's on Tubi? Oh, okay. It's on Tubi, man. Come check me out. See my scene, man. I'm, I'm Big Front, the biggest dope nigga in the hood. Y'all know how I am. <laughs> <laughs> that mom had to tell you that was yeah. like, you know what? Sometimes for, I we just do projects. That's yeah. it. Yeah. But, yeah, so um, my reader did read. Pretty much, we went through the whole show and we. Pretty much said it, so I'm gonna sum up a couple of things. Some things that stuck out to me most was take people at face value like we do money. Mm. Once somebody show you who they are, no caption. Mm -hmm. Set boundaries in every phase of your life: relationships, family ships, situationships. Stop disturbing folks' peace. Mm. Leave people where they at. 
a snake does not have to bite you for you to know that it's a snake. Listen, communicate, take accountability, be honest, love efforts, effortly, list, be your own leader. How about we bring mom and pop shops back? Mm, come on. Let's start supporting us. Mm. 365. We eight days until Juneteenth. I better see y'all out here celebrating Juneteenth because if I see y'all celebrate Fourth of July, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna celebrate Fourth of July because we off. I'm gonna also (laughs) celebrate (laughs) Juneteenth. Always believe in you. Be your best, your best supporter. Be your own cheerleader. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta encourage yourself. This week, I want y'all to keep drinking y'all water. Get a mani and a petty. Eat your fruits, your vegetables. Keep your lip gloss. Mm. It's summertime, but we still need our lip gloss. Keep praying. Keep believing. Keep believing. Mm. And don't forget to keep liking, sharing, subscribing to Herbal Tea Podcast. And make sure y'all get y'all tickets to Gunplay. Yes, get y'all June tickets, man. 18th June 18th at the Bel Air Theater. It's on 8 Mile. Y'all know where it's at. It's on the east side. For all y'all east siders and y'all we west side, we about to take it over. Yeah. Come on out and support. Hit the after party. All right, man. And lastly, I want to say, man, make sure y'all go see Gunplay, the movie, man. Definitely be packing that bitch out. Make sure y'all see Hustle, because I ain't know it's on Toby, man. I've been waiting to see myself Shut on up, TV. Shut up, that actor. <laughs> Come on, man. Big Unky. Yeah, but he I'm waiting for, yeah, yeah. I'm crazy, wait, I'm wait for, wait for them to give me a naked scene, man. I ain't going to even lie to you. But, um, <laughs> what? Shout out, shout, yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> you heard time out. You can't give yeah, my bold dick on the naked scene. Bro, and shout out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shout out to the women that I gave bold dick to. I apologize. Herbal Tea Podcast, we out. We out. <laughs>